Generic greetings and welcome back to PC Building Simulator in the previous episode. Oh, you know what? You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Really? I'm, yeah, we've repaired and upgraded and we're going to do the same again. Uh, although, in this one though, we'll be doing some diagnostics because previously a lot of our missions were very static. It was a case of the RAM's busted or the hard drive's gone or you need to clean virus, whatever, that sort of thing. Whereas now, it's a bit more freeform, it's diagnose. What's the problem? And please fix it. Um, which is still iffy that it says diagnose it and then gives you what they're going to pay you. Not just diagnose it and then you give them the price and your quote and stuff, which would be more accurate, but hey ho. So we have uh, this one here, which is upgrade to 8 gigabytes of RAM. Um, it says run 3D mark and also it says complete by the end of day. I did say last episode, I didn't know whether it was ended or not and it clearly is because it does so state that. Uh, <laughs> the next one is obtain a 3D mark score of 2397 and this one is diagnose and fix. So what we'll do is we will have a look at this. We're going to put this machine on the bench and I will see what RAM they've got. Upgrade to 8 gigabytes. I'm guessing that's going to be a 2 gigabyte stick in there. I believe so. Yes, so we need we need some more of that. So we will go back, we'll go over to memory and we'll enter two and we'll say one, two, three sticks of that. In fact, do we have any in stock? No, we don't. It's broken. We'll sell that one. In fact, anything that's broken in here, we are going to sell. That's a used card. I've been keeping that about for, just in case we need to use it as, um, like, I don't know, some um, other bits. That's actually used part. Oh. Yeah, just in case we need to, um, just in case we need to sort of upgrade it, upgrade something, we've, we've got that there. So, that one is sorted. I'll, I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll install a case, because quite frankly it's um, a bit better to leave it like that. So, we've, we've got that RAM added, right? So, pick that up. That RAM's added to the cart, so we'll sort that out. I'm going to put it closer to the door. I'm going to leave a gap just so like, that one is done for today. Next one is get a 3D Mark score of a certain amount of numbers. So I will... Ins what I'm going to do first is bench it and see what, we're, see what we're running at first. Then we'll see where the bottleneck is, and then what we'll probably do... I thought that was dust. I thought that was um, smoke coming from the cable, but it was this weird like particles we're getting. Um, it's a bit dusty in here. So, backpacking. Cool. Um, we need to... Ah, need to do that first. Oh, 3D Mark. We'll see what it's uh, running at first, and then we'll check, see how far we're off, where the bottleneck is, that sort of thing. We'll also do a visual inspection on the hardware to see if we can just go, well, obviously that's it there. If they've got, like, a Voodoo 2 in here, then we know what the problem is, don't we? So we'll fire that off, and immediately it's benching it fairly terrible. Uh, we'll have a look at this one. Uh, we can see that well, on initial inspection they've only got one stick around, but that could be an 8 gig stick for all we know. Obviously we don't know what the processor is. Nor do we know what type it is. Although can we? Uh, we should be able to figure out what type of processor it is by the by the uh by the heatsink where, where it connects to the to the motherboard. If you know the uh, positions of it, you can narrow it down. Can't say that I'm... I know that. <laughs> Some people will. I don't think it's an uncommon thing. If you're building PCs every day, you'll, you'll be able to go, yeah, it's a so-and-so socket or whatever. Um, and that looks like a... Well, it doesn't look like a cheap card. So... Yeah... Okay, what we'll do, pull the side off then, Let's see what we got. Obviously, turning on and doing this, sticking your fingers in, no, don't do it. <laughs> Just don't. Um, so, 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, GTX 960, and motherboard is Masoni Z170 MTech Plus. So it's Skylake. Yeah. Well, to be fair, to be fair, it did say Z 
170, so that should have given it away anyway. Um, but those two are there. Right, fine. So we're benching at 2316. What's the requirements for two bench shots? 2397. Well, what could we do to improve that? Well, let's get that in. Let's not. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't think you can uh, mix Radion and GeForce together. Get a bit of crossfire um, or SLI going <laughs> with the two. I don't think that'll work. That's a proper hack, that isn't it? <laughs> that will let the smoke out. Um, right, more RAM. Quite frankly, a bit more RAM would probably fix that issue. Um, so what I'm going to do? I'm going to order an 8 gig stick and give it 16 gig of RAM. Um, although, I should have really checked what the processor is, shouldn't I? Because, looking at the job, payment of 330, it's going to be a processor. It's almost certainly going to be the processor. Um, and it didn't save the last one, so I'm going to have to run that again. Um, okay, right. So in terms of processors, then, if we're going to have to do that, let's have a quick look. Um... Get rid of that in there. So we want it to be Skylake, because we're not going to change the motherboard. There's no way. And um, we'll see what it's got in there at the moment. But there's loads of processors that we can buy. And as long as we're changing, we're keeping the socket the same. We, if it has, say, like a, a, a 6700, we can put a 6700K in it. Which is uh, slightly faster. Does it have hyper-threading or not? Or does it take that into account? I think the 660 is the, uh, the workhorse of the bunch, isn't it? That's the common one. I'm sure I've got a 6700K. Because it has hyper-threading. Better for uh, rendering and such. Hmm, okay. I'll see what it benches at and then we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll see what we need to do, but I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be the processor. I don't really want to rip that um, thing up the side. It would be nice... Do I really want that tool? System Info. I'm going to buy that because, quite frankly, I think it's going to be so useful for what we're doing. Um, right. So, Intel Core... I5-6600. Okay, fine. So, 6600 is 4 core, uh, 3300 megahertz. And they are going to pay us. Three thirty for the privilege. Well, we could put a six six zero zero k in it. That's faster. Okay, let's add that. Let's let's try that. This is this is new territory for me. So we need to like you know make sure we. Well, we just have to try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. They, they just, I, you know, I lose the game and the series ends. That's the only thing that can happen. So I'll put the side cover on there. And once we're sorted, we'll power that down. And um, the next one is going to be a bit more difficult. That's diagnose and fix the problem. So, first things first, visual inspection. Okay, not a dead rat stuck in the fan. That's good. Second, turning on the power and see what happens. Often the BIOS will give you a clue what's wrong. If nothing happens, then it could be a broken PSU. Yep, yeah, doesn't help. Work your way through the components until you find the broken ones. Okay. Um, visual inspection. Um, for a start, that cooler. I'm going to call it a cooler, because I don't think it is. It's just a fan stuck on top of the processor. And... Judging by how much they have paid me, it's a new processor required. Okay, it's probably cooked it. 
Let's try it. Right, so, power. No CPU found yet. Yeah, cook the processor. Okay. We figured this out. Take that off. The cooler's just suboptimal. I mean, it might be alright. Let's move that. Take that out. And processors, yeah, knackered, absolutely hammered, gone. Cooling though, look at that. That seems insufficient to me, really does. I wouldn't risk that, I wouldn't risk it. Um, I mean, I'm not knocking Cryog the part or anything like that, I just, it just doesn't seem... Yeah, just for what it is. For a, for a four-core um, AMD Ryzen running at 3,700 megahertz. <laughs> Seems a little bit iffy. And I think the AMDs tend to run a little bit hotter than the Pentium equivalent anyway. So, um, historically in my experience, I don't know if that's still the case. Like I say that I'm not really up to date on that stuff these days. Okay, so if nothing else, we do need to just replace that part. So let's go for uh, processors. Um, technically, we don't actually. It does say diagnose and fix it doesn't say that we have to replace it with the exact same part it just says fix but we are going to put a um, Ryzen 5 back in um, so shop back uh, processors uh, AM4 Ryzen 5 quad car I believe it was the f 1 500x wasn't it let me just Double check though because I'd rather do that than get it wrong. Um, 1500X, yes, that is correct. So we'll add that to the cart. Um, they are going to pay us as well. Um, 3, 400. So what I might do is get a different, probably a, a better cooler for it. Not that one, the stock cooler. No, thank you. Let's get a better cooler for it. Because they're all quite cheap anyway. Oh, they're not cheap. They're reasonably priced. <laughs> cheap. Make it sounds like it's all terrible. Uh, AM4 socket, innit? I believe. Uh, AM4, yeah. Okay, so we could go for that one. Got the other two here as well. Um, that's That fits everything. It's got different brackets on the bottom, but it's... I, I did have one like that before, and it was huge, really tall. Uh, we'll go for that one. Um, so there we go, that's the car. Um, so we'll get it delivered tomorrow. Look at the total, though. We're, we're almost going bankrupt here. So we'll buy that now. And we will install the side that... There. Actually, you know what? No, there's no point. Why am I doing that? I'm not, I don't even need to take it out of the, uh, out the shop. What I do need to do is end the day. There we go. So we need to complete one of these jobs by the end of the day. But let's just let's just put this all sort. Let's just get this one sorted. So remove the side panel, and we will put the CPU in. We'll lock it down. We will then install some thermal paste. <laughs> And then the cooling, which we're going to put a better cooler on there. Actually, whoa, hang on. That apparently is... That apparently is more expensive than that. Cryox C7. Come on, that can't be right. I mean, it can be right. Um, I can't even get those parts. You know what? Maybe I'm... I think it is just a case of I'm being stupid and just thinking that can't be as good as that because that's smaller because obviously that's how it that's how logic works um it's just it hasn't got the surface area but maybe it's designed so it does you know maybe it's got a huge fine mesh in there which you know it does have actually a bigger surface area than that although if it that would be a finer mesh which means dirt ingress would really knock it up very very quickly um but yeah, that's actually see that that's that's more expensive than that one. Um, heat pipe technology, shorter, low noise, low maintenance. Yeah, 
maybe that is just a better cooler. 25 cooler than stock harnessing the power of heat pipe technology. Wow. You learn something every day, right? Well, I'm, I'm, I'll put that cooler back on. The other cooler was only $20 anyway, and we can keep that in stock. If someone needs another cooler, we know we've got it there. So, you know, you want those things around, so we haven't lost anything. Um, so we'll install the side bit. Hmm. Technology, yeah? Marvellous it is. Power that one on. Ooh, look at all the nice LED lighting. And an F22, I believe it is. Um, don't know what variant. Uh, the expensive variant, because they're all over budget. Right, so that's sorted. There's so far one done. Next one is get a score of more. So let's try that one. Again, this is all new territory for me. What I'm doing here might not be the way to go. We might have to put more RAM in or something. Anything. Um, so let's just... Well, we can only try, can't we? So we're going to open that. We're going to take out that processor. I mean, this will make it faster. Just whether or not it, it's what the game is wanting. I'm also... I, I really didn't check the wattage. I think the wattage will be about the same. I think it was 65 watts each. Don't quote me on that. Um, also, was that the right cooler? Oh, 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 almost made the fatal mistake there. Yep. Um, PC cooling used. Just tell me who, who it, <laughs> whose machine it's for. Uh, cabling is that. And then while we're in cabling mode, we may as well go ahead and... Just put all these in. There we go. Install a side panel. Alright, that should be fine. These two bits and bobs. Power it on. And we'll bench it. We don't have to um, We don't have to put the USB stick in because it's uh it's already been installed. So while that's benching, I will uh, diagnose and fix. Status missing cables. What have I done there? Ah, I know what I did. I don't think I... I don't think I installed the... The, the fan on the heatsink. On the processor cooler. I don't think I put the fan... The, uh, the fan cable in. My mistake. Obviously, there'll be people much more attentive than me who've spotted that already, but, uh, yes. It is holding my hand a little bit there. As it progresses on, like you say, if there was a hardcore mode, that would just be like a failure. That would be, well, I, I powered it up, and it overheated, and now it's broke, and it's your responsibility, which it would be. I guess, because, you know, was it our, was our fault. How was that benching? Not too bad, I don't think. But, will it meet the requirements of getting a score of 2397? We will find out in about six weeks. <laughs> uh, damn it. 2351. Two, Uh, did that do better? Um, yeah, so graphics... It's going to have to be the graphics card, isn't it? Oh, well. Looks like I've got a spare... <laughs> looks like I've got a spare part. Um, in, in the form of the... Uh, in the form of that processor, because I'm going to put their old processor back in. Alright, well, like I say, it's all a learning thing. Uh, let's go for graphics cards, then. If we... How much is how much is a 9.8 you going to be? Um, 350, what are they giving us? They are giving us 330, so we're not going to be putting that in. Um, although we could put that in. That would be, no, still more expensive. Um, what have they currently got? That's the thing. Was it a 970? Don't know. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to leave that bit for now because what I want to, what I really need to do, is get this one out the door. 
Let me put the cables in, because I think that's what it is. I think I just forgot the cable. Yeah, that's what it was. So let's just do that. Okay. And we will power up. Can boot. Booted. Leave by door. Right. So did I actually boot that up and it didn't blow up? Well, it wouldn't for a short bit. Uh, let's collect that. 340. There you go. New parts available. Uh, 970. Uh, and another job there which I will check later on. Okay. So we've got upgraded 8 gigabyte, uh, gigabytes of RAM. Let's do that one because that's another simple task. Uh, that one. Complete by the end of day today. So we'll do that and that. Get rid of those. Install. Memory. Ah, never fails. All right. So there's no minimum requirement. We just need to bench it. That's all it is. Not like lifted up and down or anything. Didn't say curl it or anything like that. It obviously means a r just run a 3D mark. Um, that's fine. So we'll cable this up. And then what we'll have to do. Power that on. And we'll run 3D mark. Did I put 3D mark on here? I'm guessing not. System info. I've never actually ran this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fire it up. Uh, I'm going to install it just to see what it's like. I don't want to restart. I do want to put that on though. And now we'll restart. System info. All right. Yeah. Look at that. So it's given us uh, memory load. It's given us wattages and temperatures on all of the cores. Oh, look at that as well. <laughs> Wow, that's some detail. I'm, very, I'm truly impressed with that. That's great. That's great. Right, so we'll run the benchmark on that one. And then that should be another job well done. So the question is... The question is... We know of a 970 as well. Do we go... Do we remove their 960 and put a 970 in it? Well, there is a problem. And the problem, as always, is me. Because I don't know um, how much. I don't know what the comparison is between the Nvidia stuff and uh, the Rajon stuff. I don't know what it is the, between the two companies. I don't know. I know m mostly the the, uh, the GeForce stuff, the Nvidia stuff, but the. Uh, the Radeon stuff. It, I just don't know. It, it, I, I can look at the I can look at the speed and such like that. that. That's okay. I can get a rough comparison, but I don't know what is comparable. Um, so they have. Let's just have a quick look. Um, it, I think it was nine nine sixty, wasn't it? I don't know what variant though. Um, I know it was green. <laughs> I'm gonna assume. It was this one with two gigabytes of VRAM. Well, if that's the case, then that's why it's hammered. Hmm. Now that I think of it, it's it's an obvious thing, isn't it? If it's a budget card, well, mid mid range, I think. Ah, yeah. Now that I've come to think on, of course, of course, it's that. Ah, yeah, the processor thing. Don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Cause I'm a moron. Okay, well, we can collect that one. We had to complete that by today, so that's now done. Discard that one. We've got upgrades there. Um, I'll check that one later. So this one here, which is a 3D Mark score of 2397, to get that one done, this is this one here. And, uh, yeah, it sort of seems obvious now what I need to do, which is replace the graphics card, because I think it's only a 2 gig, and giving it 4 would be fine. And it's a 960-100ME. And we already looked at that earlier. Um, 
100 ME, there it is there. It's not even the LE version. Yep. So we need to upgrade. What I will do first though, is um, take the liberty of um, taking my <laughs> the processor out. Um, there we go. Um, install. Uh, 600 again. There you go. I mean, that would give, that did give it some performance increase, but not what we were going for because the bottleneck was the um, the bottleneck was the well is the graphics card. So, or I'm assuming it might not even be this, but. Yeah, 8 gig of RAM, and then this, yeah. So. We have, um, 980, which we've already checked is too expensive. They're going to pay us 330. So, what about 970? 970 would be... If we went safe and got the... It's between that one and that one. They're already using MSI, so they seem to like that. So we'll give them MSI. Uh, light and colour will stay the same. Uh, frequency on these is... That's a little bit... The LE... Sorry, the non-LE. It's a little bit faster. Um, 1753, 1753, that's memory. Uh, call frequency, 1253, 12... One six and VRAM four, so I think that one is the way to go. I will get it delivered tomorrow after I accept the two of the jobs, probably, and then we'll go ahead and get this one sorted. So a bit of a mess around. Um, I apologise. Like you say it's just learning on this one, but you know what? I prefer it. It challenges you. It, it makes you think about different things, and uh, rather than just us following a script, now we're really having to think for ourselves, and I appreciate that. I like that. Next thing I really want to buy when I've got some spare money, well, next thing is that table over there, quite frankly, but also I really want part ranking. Compare relative performance of CPUs and graphics cards, so I can then start getting uh, get more information on the uh, the Radeon NVIDIA difference, because that's just a hold, a hold of my knowledge on it. As, well, there's many holes, obviously, but uh, yeah, I need to sort that especially. Either way, I'm going to leave it there. Um, yeah, even though I messed this one up, really enjoying this one. I'm really, really, really enjoying that. That's good. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.